What's up, peeps, and welcome back to the Lionel B Show. It's your first time tuning into the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos, man. Also, make sure y'all click that notification bell button so anytime I drop a brand new video, y'all be the first ones to get it. Now, some of y'all, if y'all are not receiving my brand new videos, man, make sure you hold down the bell button and make sure it says all instead of personalized. Now, Shanika Tompkins, for the most part, keeps it low key. However, she couldn't help but shade Lala Anthony on a post made by TMZ on social media. Hey guys, what's up? What's poppin'? How we doing out there? So today, listen, it's a special day for me. I'm launching my new Facebook watch series. It's called Reclaim Your Life. And um, it's really special to me and something that I'm really, really proud of. Basically, what we're doing is taking women and helping them reclaim their life. So whether you've been through shit that we've all been through, bad breakups, bad marriages, bad relationships, growing up a certain way, bad careers, bad jobs, bad bosses, bad family members, you know, just people that really wear and tear on our self-esteem, on our self-worth. And sometimes you just feel like... You're never going to catch a break. Like, life is just hitting you hard from every single angle. Now, it's no secret that Shanika and 50 Cent aren't on good terms. And the ongoing beef with his son Marquise, his damn near identical twin. Now, recently, Lala Anthony posted a bikini picture showing off them goods. And 50 Cent quickly chimed in and left her a comment that didn't seem like they were only friends. Now, in the comment, he said, La, your booty is out in the picture. Is everything all right? Quarantine is making me nuts. If I read another Corona news story, I'm gonna fake. Laugh out loud. Now, while it's true 50 Cent certainly has a sweet spot for Melo's wife, 50 Cent baby mother don't rock with her at all. Now, TMZ posted that image on Instagram captioned, Lala answers rather 50 Cent would be without sex or his IG page. And Shaniqua came right up under the post and said, I have no respect for her. Now, this isn't the first time that Lala Anthony has been accused of taking somebody man or trying to take somebody man. Now, a few years ago, Lala was in the midst of a cheating scandal with Mano and his baby mama put her on blast for sleeping with him. Now, his baby mama also implied that Lala and Carmelo Anthony have an open marriage. Now, the cheating part may be positively true, but the open marriage part isn't. As Carmelo was caught creeping on a boat by a professional paparazzi scuba divers or whatever. And also, Lala has been linked to rapper Ludacris as well. Now, information came out, man, that Lala was actually seeking legal counsel to legally get separated from Carmelo Anthony because she tired of the BS. Now, not only did he publicly embarrass her one time by having a whole side baby, but he embarrassed her again, man, by getting caught on a yacht and pretending like it was just a silly business retreat. I mean, come on, Melo, man. You got to do way better than that. Now, be it true, man, that Carmelo is definitely total trash, man. It looks like Lala Anthony actually has some secrets of her very own. <clears throat> Y'all heard it first here on the Lionel B Show. Now, sources are indicating, man, that she was out at the Estes Festival, man, and she was seen linking up with Ludacris. That's right, man, Ludacris, the rapper fast and furious guy Ludacris. Now, y'all know Ludacris, man, he is definitely no stranger to being shady anyway. Now, him and Lala have been linked back for several years. And also, man, Ludacris, you know, his name was actually just recently brought up in the media for a whole nother situation, which is basically having a side baby on his wife as well. So, and the weird thing about it is, man, Ludacris and Carmelo Anthony was actually cool at one point. But now it looks like, man, there's definitely some beef simmering in between the two households. Now, Lala and Ludacris' wife, man, at one point, they used to be friends, man. They used to go to a lot of events together. They were seen, you know what I'm saying, taking selfies together, man. But that is definitely not the case anymore. Now, a few years back, man, Carmelo Anthony, man, he kind of caught wind of everything because he actually was not invited to Ludacris' birthday weekend. But Lala Anthony was, and guess what? Lala Anthony showed up, and she left Carmelo cheating ass home. So, you know what I'm saying? Crazy information, man. And also on the actual show of Safe Word, man, Lala Anthony, she couldn't shake the rumors, man. Now, check this out. She was actually asked by Terrence J, man, with the lie detector test, has she ever had a wet dream regarding Ludacris? And she blatantly denied it. I wish I could play the clip for y'all, man, but it is on MTV, man. Y'all can actually Google this video. 
y'all can actually look for the video on youtube but yeah man basically she took a lie detector test and they were asking her yo have you ever had a wet dream about ludicrous and she was like hell no never had a dream about ludicrous the lie detector test determined it was a lie and if y'all check Ludacris's face man Ludacris was kind of smiling like yeah baby you know what I'm saying you already know we got a good thing going on so now I'm about to play the behind the scenes clip man I can't actually play the clip from MTV itself when it aired y'all can check that out but check out the behind the scenes clip right here and look how they trying to actually change up the whole tune keep this <laughs> Now in this clip right here, man, you can see this is actually a photo taken from London where Lala actually made a special trip to visit Ludacris. And looks like, man, they're damn near in a relationship, man, because they are matching. He got on his little USA polo and she got on her damn USA shirt. I mean, come on. I mean, I don't know what type of friends do that. What type of two married friends do that. You know what I'm saying? Want to look like each other, man. They definitely have been getting it in for a long time. Now, man, some of our snitch sources, man, actually leaked a dm man sent from Ludacris to lala man i'm getting ready to post that and let y'all check this out here it go lionel b always says if you don't want to make the news don't do it now in the dm that you're actually seeing on the screen man this is a direct message from Ludacris to lala and man this is like a smoking gun man he's indicating baby just know that i'm still right here for you i miss you and love you you'll always be my baby we always had a special bond you know i'll trade it all for you you deserve way better crazy man now i'm sure a lot of y'all man and myself included man i initially thought their relationship was just purely friends and they didn't have nothing extra and nothing devious going on man i thought that was the homie like you said in the one clip man i'm chilling with my little sister and that's just what it is but it looks like man sometimes men like to take advantage of females that be in weak positions man you know we like to call them in the south man the cleanup man the cleanup man will come through and take your whole chick especially when you done messed up it's nothing at all man to get her to fall in love with you and it looks like Ludacris is playing that field now y'all already know man Ludacris has been wanting Lala for a long time he even got a wife that looks somewhat like Lala man I don't definitely think it's a coincidence at all that she looks something like Lala and also the fact that Lala and Ludacris's wife has not been spotted together in a very long time that speaks total volumes man and also her felling a lie detector test man saying she did not have a dream so of course Ludacris man always kept that in the back of his head he was like damn look like bro I got a whole chance with little mama look like this thing might go down after all so man definitely crazy information man you know i always wanted to believe that lala was on the up and up but i mean y'all can't really blame her man because the way that carmelo anthony did her man that was really super duper foul so i i feel like you know maybe she's like okay the best revenge is to go ahead and hang out with my old friend that carmelo already had smoke with anyway because he wasn't even invited to his damn birthday party so come on man y'all gotta put two and two together the receipts is right there the information's out there man she wasn't gonna be single for very long they already haven't been living together for quite some time now she's trying to get a legal separation and meanwhile Ludacris is keeping her nice and warm at night and even more so man if y'all look at all the pictures of Carmelo Anthony and Lala man the chemistry is just not really there now I'm gonna show y'all difference between her taking a picture with Carmelo Anthony and her taking a picture with her boo Ludacris man I mean the pictures with her and Ludacris man her hand is all, all over his chest like they real close by and then with Carmelo Anthony she just kind of like you know like she's pretty much just trying to keep up with appearances y'all check this out right here
Now the creeping on the down low theme man definitely doesn't surprise me at all man because she rolls with the damn Kim Kardashian. So I already know man birds of a feather flock together man in any type of weather. So I'm not shocked sometimes man like when I be hearing different things about La La and Ludacris man. It doesn't baffle me not even a little bit man because you already know the Kardashians are terrible women period. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Do y'all feel like Ludacris' wife has got to be one of the dumbest women in the world, man, to just accept everything that Ludacris puts out aside, baby? And also him linking up with his longtime friend, Lala. And does Carmelo Anthony have any type of right, man, for being upset, being that he got caught cheating so many times? Do y'all feel compassion for either one of them? Do y'all feel compassion for Carmelo or do y'all feel compassion for Luda's wife or do y'all feel compassion for none of the dummies? Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on the videos. Share the videos and I'm going to peep y'all on the next one. Holla.